Hey, this is Game and Change. Thanks for stopping by. Over the last few days, I've been playing Sunset Overdrive. It's an older Xbox One game that came out in 2014. At the time, I really liked the idea of the game, but never gave it a chance, never actually played it. It was free to play about a year ago, I believe, and I played it a little bit back then, and I considered it to be kind of a perfect game. It's a game where the mobility is very enjoyable. Everything can be interacted with from a mobility standpoint, and I, now I haven't been playing it, what I was going to do is play some games with my son, and I was trying to think, what's a, just a fun, feel-good game that he can play and just just romp around because he likes playing um well, he used to like playing a lot of goat simulator he still likes it but that game i feel like is a little bit weird some parts of it are a little bit weird there's not really much to do except for him to hurt people as a goat it's just weird um so instead of him playing that game i figured hey you know let's give him a real game to play like sunset overdrive it's, um, if, you, if he likes exploration, if he likes mobility, he can just play this. And through showing him how to play, me, myself, I actually ended up getting back into this game. It's like, wow, even though a lot of new games are out, Red Dead Redemption 2 is out, um, there's still parts of Destiny 2 that I haven't played yet. I, I'm supposed to be playing Path of Exile. I'm, I'm into that game now. There's all these other games that I would like to play, but all of a sudden, I came back and I was like, hey, how come I never finished Sunset Overdrive? And Sunset Overdrive does a lot of automatic game uh, game clips. When you're doing certain things, when you're finishing certain, um, certain missions, it takes a clip along with an achievement, or it takes a clip just for no reason at all, just to document your journey of playing the game. I think it's a good way to advertise the game. Now, so now I have like 19 clips here that I was kind of going to delete, but instead of deleting them, I like sharing my clips. I like sharing my gameplay, especially of such a beautiful game like this. So uh, what I'm going to do is just play my clips. So in this gameplay right here, this is a boss battle. And you have to defeat the train. I kept on like getting confused as to what's the best weapon to use to defeat those turrets. Um, I think that gun that I just used there would have been the best, but for some reason I switched away from it. I'm always trying to use area of effect weapons, but in this case, something with more precision would have been better. I'm trying to get my grind collectible right there, but I missed it. <laughs> uh, this is um this was an interesting boss battle. A lot of the boss battles in this game are noteworthy in my opinion. Okay, so again, we're just going to go through the clips that were automatically taken by the game as you play, as you finish certain activities. So we just watched the first clip taken two days ago. This is me just going through the campaign, my first playthrough. I really like this game, and before I remove these clips from my Xbox Live profile, I want to share them here with my YouTube family. Okay, this is on um, where you have to defend the two points, these two overdrive using mechanisms. Um, it's just hectic gameplay. This game at first maybe might not seem fun to some people, but once you know how to ground, you know how to shoot water you know how to make them, you know how to bounce them, once you know how to shoot or do these things, you can kind of just be really This is fun right here. Luckily, it feels like 
feels good to be emotional. There's actually there's a game on Dreamcast that I really liked when I was little. It was called um, Jet Set Radio. I think that's what it was called, Jet Set or Jet Set Radio, something like that. But the, the whole vibe and everything for this game feels like it's, it's very similar to what I wanted Jet Set Radio to be back in the day. That game didn't have a lot of like shooting, but it did have a lot of um, style in terms of mobility. It feels like this game is Jet Set Radio. Really the graffiti style in that game, I was really into graffiti when I was younger. And and like the art and the attitude and the mobility in this game and that game really uh, it checks a box for me. I like that term. It checks a box for me. I really want to see a part two of this game. It's interesting to see in 30 years, in 30 years, what would a game like this be like? Gotta keep away from the 50 player, multiplayer, limitless map size. As you reach the limits of the map, it procedurally generates more players who just jump in, jump in and jump out of your game seamlessly. As you enter different areas, you enter into other people's games seamlessly. The future holds so many interesting things for games. I just hope I'm somehow part of it, either through sharing footage or collecting feedback, giving suggestions. I want to be somehow part of it. Okay, they're all where games are going. Because this game here is a little masterpiece and it was released in 2014. Oh, some of these clips are a minute. I didn't realize that. Some of these clips are going to be a little bit long. I'll just, I mean, we're going through these clips. I'm not going to delete them without them being recognized and uh, chronically here. We're going to be chronically etched in stone before I delete them. I was going to um, upload them all to my one cloud and then uh, the sky drive and then uh, download that, edit the video and then upload it that way. And I was like, no, let's just do it in one shot. Let's just play the clips in OBS, record the video that way. Kind of do commentary. In this mission, I need to stop this garbage truck. This was a crazy mission. I enjoyed a lot of the missions. Some missions were a little bit challenging. This was just this was just fun right here. Next up. Strike. It's just masterful. 
the way this game was done was so good. And the people that made this game were behind the new Spider-Man for PS4. Um, that's the main marketing element in my mind for that game. Like, oh my goodness, you mean to tell me the people who made this game made a Spider-Man game? I don't even like Spider-Man that much. I'm not that much of a superhero dude, but man, I kind of want to, I'll play that because I, what I actually want is a, um, oh, what's the, we already watched this. Hold on, hold on, yeah. Yeah, I'll play. I'll play the new Spider-Man game because what I actually want is a Sunset Overdrive Part Two. Oh, this was frustrating. In this mission, you need to cook a whole bunch of pigeons, and the way that you cook them is you wait for them to show up at one of these traps right there, and then you stomp on it to create a fire, and you need to get 500 of them, 500 pigeons this way. I had to try this three, four, five times before I realized the best method to do it. Basically, you stay off the ground. Everything needs to be a bounce. You just go from trap to trap. Sometimes you can use cars to link yourself to different traps. Got another trap over there. We got it. Yeah, buddy, buddy. Super macro holy mega ultra pigeon combo. Yeah. Yeah, I was determined doing this. I was very determined. I wanted to just get this finished at this point. That's enough of that. Some more game and change. Sunset Overdrive gameplay. Oh, this mission was crazy. They had me go into a pond to cover myself with leeches to get some kind of antidote or something out of my blood. And I ended up getting, they gave me some kind of shock. They gave me a chemical or something that made me high. Had me feeling crazy. assured I was rapidly tapping X during that situation. Okay, that's the end of that clip. All right. Next up, we have a, ooh, a two minute, 26 second clip. What's happening here? 
Oh, this was an intense boss battle. Roller coaster battle. this thing, uh, shoot it, um, but also watch out for when it sets traps for me. We saw it there, I ran into one of its bombs, and I fell down, so now I'm struggling to get back up to where I need to go. in this game are really good, like when they tell you so far down there. But the audio uh, cues in this game, when they give you a hint for what to do, um, they're really good. So at this point, at some point, they tell me to turn around. They say, uh, tap X, uh, press back and tap X to change direction in case I didn't know how to do it. And then that, that when I saw that, I realized, oh, I need to turn around. And then eventually, instead of being behind it, I'll be in front of it, and we'll be able to do a head-on collision. That second message there on screen. Once I read that second message, I realized what I needed to do. And it's good, it really simplified things. Instead of me jumping from track to track trying to figure out how to do a head-on collision, I was able to just just be behind it and then reverse direction and then trust that eventually it will be head on. And there it was. That was a good battle. That was a good battle. Oh, this was cra crazy. In this battle here, you actually need to keep your boat afloat. Okay, keep your boat afloat. Um, see, there's the boat health right there. In the um, upper left-hand corner is the boat health. And that can, that goes up when you pick up trash and throw it inside of the little uh, trash area on the boat. We'll have to turn the brig around and take a different route. It's done! Oh, that was the end of that clip, okay. <laughs> Alright, well next... Then it's good to have a short one. These are like some electricity traps. Now, one thing that I want to improve in that I have with the game is it'd be nice if you can just if you can set traps as you play, like anywhere. Um, but these traps were, were set in advance near one of our bases before all these robots showed up. It's too bad. Um, that electric barrel, I didn't notice it until after the mission was finished. Next time, if I ever play this again, I need to see what happens if I pick up an electric barrel and throw it at a robot and see what happens. I wonder what kind of damage it will cause. Okay. Here's another clip. Some grinding. Some grinding gunplay. That's it. That's it for that one. Oh, 
Oh, this is one of those challenges. Sometimes they have these challenges where you want to try to get, uh, do whatever the mission is. In this challenge, you want to try to get all the numbers off the side of this building. Get as many as you can. Based on how many you get, you get a certain reward. This doesn't look like it's one of my best runs. system wasn't so enjoyable. If the movement system wasn't enjoyable in this game, the collectibles would be a nuisance or a burden. Yeah, that's not my best run. I don't even know why I shared that clip. That's another one of those. sword. I um, the sword that you have to build, and the sword can heal you during this one battle. I'm supposed to collect 99 souls. <laughs> the sword is basically eating souls. Let's just check it out. kept on slamming the melee button on him as fast as I can. But what do you know? It worked out just fine. And I'm glad it did. I'm glad it did. Well, I really wanted to go on to the next mission at this point. I think we can take a night and get late. Abilities in this game, they're like they're on the one hand you can say they're easy, but they're punishing as well. Now let's say you try to do water slide twice in a row. You can't do that. You need to try to when you make a chain or a combo, a, a movement combo, you need to always do something different in sequence. It's just like the air burst, that ability right there that I just used to burst in the air. You can't do that twice in a row. You gotta come back down, bounce, then you can come in the air and do it again. Or try and then go in the air and do it again. Or wall run and then go in the air and do it again. 
He's a little bit of but uh, it's, it's very enjoyable. I really want to play a sunset if I drive two or a, a, another game. Let it, let it be a whole different game, whole different story, but let's have the same exact movement system. Please, I would really like that. I would contribute money to that. If there was like a startup on that, I would contribute to that. This is one of those challenges. Trying to go through these rings as fast as possible. Yeah, this is me. That's actually me failing a challenge. So we can skip through that. It's not even a good a good clip. This might be a good run right here. Here's that same challenge from the beginning. I haven't done a lot of the challenges in this game. But lately, just over the last couple of days, I've given a few a try, and I like them. Ah, uh, yeah. Just based on that, on that error right there, based on that mistake right there, I know that's not going to be a good run. This might be a good run. Let's see. Yeah, no. That was a run where I think there was some kind of problem. A run where I got confused in direction. It was a confident run. That little roll, that little roll right there is unnecessary though. There we go. Yep. I remember that run. I remember falling in the water like that. No. That was not suitable. A while. Maybe I should visit two head. How did I do this time? Obviously, that's the thing. I wish it only would record the good runs. This game was automatically recording like every every challenge. Don't record those bad runs, please. Play like this, like, yeah. You wanna miss the first ring, then you're not eligible to be recorded. What's this? Yeah, we're gonna skip these. When I said I wanna share my gameplay, it wasn't sharing the uh the challenge gameplay. Oh hold on, hold on. Let's just do one more challenge. Let's see, is, it, is this the good run? We had one good run, everybody. Will this be the good run? No, every challenge is recorded except for the good run. Oh, okay. Thank you for clarifying. This looks like the good one so far. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I remember that. Started off so confident, and then, and then that happened. Man, ah, let me take these off, man, so I can feel like a damn alien. Not even listening to any audio through there right now. <laughs> oh, this was a great boss battle right here. I think was this the. Um, is this the final boss? Uh oh, spoiler alert, everybody. Spoiler alert. The final boss battle right here, everybody. Even though the game came out in 2014, it's still a good game. I highly recommend it. But I'm sorry to say, I'm still going to show you this boss battle. This is my gameplay, and I'm not going to let it just disappear into the abyss. Enjoy this. Let's talk about this. Do you play this game? How good did you get at it? How bad am I? Do I have something to learn? Something to learn? Are there some tips and tricks you want to show me? Let me know in the comments section below. I'd appreciate that. I don't want to slow too much to the end of the game. I don't want to show too much now. All 
right, so that's it. That's that's all the clips. We made we made it through. Yeah, got all kinds of games on here. Uh, clips that I've recorded over time. Hey, when I play games, I make clips, and I don't like those clips going to waste on on me watching my own game clips. So when I make clips, I like to share them on YouTube as well, on Twitter, on um, uh, other places as well. This is Game and & Change, and uh, I'm gonna take these off. <sighs> feel like I have a feel like I have a neck brace on. My goodness. This is Game and Change. I appreciate you stopping by to watch this Sunset Overdrive gameplay. And you know, I know it's an older game, but I've been playing it the last few get uh, the last few days. I actually finished this game now, so now the game's finished, and um, it's a good game, everybody. It's a good game, and uh, you probably already know that. You probably have actually um, already played the game, or you already saw gameplay footage. If you stopped by to watch some 2018 Xbox One X enhanced gameplay footage, then I'm honored, I'm privileged that you would stop by and watch this with me. Thanks for stopping by. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Peace.